Okay guys, Cactus Bob here, um, making this video as a response to so many of the videos on YouTube about Faraday boxes and bug out vehicles. And what I've seen as far as Faraday boxes are concerned, uh, a lot of people talk about them and they show people wrapping cell phones in aluminum foil and you're going to protect your cell phone and going to protect your iPod and you're going to protect all that kind of stuff. But nobody really talks about the most important thing that you need to protect and that is your vehicle. Now hopefully you've thought about the vehicle that you're going to use and you've made a decision based on the situation that best suits you. Um, some people claim that you should go with a gasoline vehicle. Some people say you should go with a diesel vehicle. Uh, I've been told by people, well, there'll be gasoline available, and even though I run on vegetable oil, everybody will be fighting over the little bit of vegetable oil that's out there. Well, that may be true, okay? Maybe I'm wrong. But I have chosen to buy an older Ford diesel, pre-computerized, and uh, it's a 7.3 IDI, a 91. And the decision was very well thought out. At least I think I thought it out. Because I make my own fuel and because I have a portable filtration system, I, I chose that vehicle over a gasoline simply because I believe I will be able to keep that running uh, regardless of what happens. There are some bugs in the ointment with the vehicle that I've chosen. And this is where Faraday cages come into play. I have taken the time to examine the vehicle and taken the time to learn what I needed to to keep that going. And I'll show you some of the things I put in my Faraday box. This is a transmission controller that fits my Ford. It's the only electronic device in the Ford with the exception of the speedometer and the voltage regulator. Without it, my truck will still run and drive. I'll simply have to drive it like a manual. In order to start off, you have to put it in first gear, and then when you get up to speed, you put it in second, etc. So this, having an extra transmission controller is not a bad idea. The second part of my kit are these little things here. This is a voltage regulator pack. It comes with brushes. It can be bought on eBay very quickly, easily, and cheaply. And this is an electronic board also inside here. No mechanical contracts at all. This is the other component that an EMP may fry if it comes along. Easy to change. Easy to store. I got a couple of them. And the third complication is the speedometer head. On this particular Ford, the speedometer is electronic. I know it probably will, it, it doesn't really need the speedometer to run, but it's a nice thing to have. So these are the three things that I keep in my Faraday cage, just in case. Along with these three things, you need to know how to change them. Just keeping extra parts for your car isn't going to do you any good if you don't know what to do with them. Things like the transmission controller, I took the time, disconnected the transmission controller, and drove the truck. I wanted to find out what it would do without this controller. And the results were very good. The truck will still go down the road. Everything works except fourth gear and overdrive, which means the little diesel motor is going to really scream at highway speeds. But at least I'm going to get where I need to go. So with these three things, I should be all right. That and the ability to make fuel. So it should be a consideration in your Faraday box of what you put in it. You know, don't put your cell phone in a Faraday box. Okay? This isn't going to do you any good. You're going to put, if you, say you put an activated one in your Faraday box, you're going to pay for your service in, until the day that you actually need it. And then it probably won't work. Or you're going to put an unactivated cell phone in your Faraday box. And do you really think customer service is going to be available when you call them after an EMP to activate it? It's useless. Don't do it. Waste of time. Choose your Faraday box carefully. There's lots of videos on what you should do. But I just thought I would throw in there 
that personally, I really think you should consider your vehicle and you should know how to change the parts and you should store the extra parts that you need just in case something goes wrong. So that's my rant for today. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, uh, subscribe, uh, I would appreciate it. Take care.